first picture of a seven days fire burn. A battle back bell, French folklores, a sweaty white t shirt covered in dirt. Your dad's grass, there'll be a fruit wars. Now it's time to recite to the survivor. To my look. To my look. To my look. A prop down tire, blown up by wire. Raining a bow cut in a playboy. A sweater like this, sir. I hear enthusiasm from uh, around the corner. So uh, thanks again, Jess. And uh, if you guys would mind doing a roll call, introducing yourselves or introducing each other, that'd be great. I'm Michael. That's Roy in the back. That's Ryan next to Roy. That's Sam. He's over on the other side of the studio. And then Nico is front and center. Front, that's right. Yeah. I'm, that's in the, I'm in the hot seat. Nico and Ryan are wearing sunglasses. Sam and Roy are not. It's right in here. And because there are a number of musical Nikos who spell it different ways, would you mind spelling it for the home audience? That's a N I C O. So, like with Velvet Underground? Yeah, exactly the not same. Not like Nico Case? No. Coincidence, okay. though. Well, welcome back to the two of you who were just here, and uh, welcome aboard to the additional three of you. And do you have any upcoming shows you want to plug several times? No. No. <laughs> show this right now? Wait, no, don't we have one in like August in Springfield? Oh, oh yeah, we're that playing August 17th in Springfield with Levin Black Thing. Sheep Cafe. You're going to want to put that on your calendar now. You'll forget between yep. now and then. Is that daytime or nighttime? It's a nighttime show, isn't it? Okay, I heard cafe and I wasn't sure. Yeah. It's an evening show. I don't think it's they've ever served, they've never served coffee. It's at night. I think it's a cafe in name only. Okay, <laughs> very, very beatnik. Following that, we're playing in Champagne. Oh, this would be especially relevant then. Oh. I'll say it on the mic. The following night, we're playing champagne. We're following playing in night, champagne. August 18th, we at? are playing at Bentley's Pub in oh, yeah. Champagne. Oh, yeah, we're playing at Bentley's. Bentley's Pub. That's where we played last time we played, too. I like that <laughs> I like that. 60 seconds ago, you had no upcoming gigs, and you've gotten two gigs in the meantime. <laughs> Things are really looking up for us, Todd. That's how we roll. <laughs> Do you have booking information you want, to, a website or anything like that you want to, people can find you virtually? Facebook and the Bandcamp is your best bet. And Facebook yeah. and Bandcamp are... Slash the dry look? Yep. Yeah. All one word? Okay, the dry look dot bandcamp dot com. I think that's it. Yeah. 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 Is uh, it dry look music for Facebook? Or is it? No, it's just the dry look. There is another dry look band there that imposters. started at the exact same time, but they're the fake dry look. And <laughs> I think we, we, we went back in time on our Facebooks and like could see that we started our band just like two weeks before they did. Well, you could you could be the arid dry look, and they can be the no. They're not dry at all. Yeah, they're moist. <laughs> actually, that's a Canadian band. So, you know, I think I think I actually looked. I actually tried to look up that other band, mm -hmm. and uh, I haven't seen them on Facebook. I think they might have withdrawn. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so we don't want to face the legal fees of going up against the real dry look. Right. Well, um, I think I'm going to get out of the way so you can play more <laughs> songs. Just wave your arms or something when you uh, want to take a break. Thanks. Right. Oh, and this is uh, Web Sessions with the Dry Look. Get your dad and I 
That was that was rough. Oh, that was fun. That one was good. That was the best one so far. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot on the radio. Should we chat? Radio is real hot. Should we chat? Uh, sure. Should we talk to Mike ourselves for a little? Yeah, call Todd out. <laughs> you got a haircut, man. I, I did. I just got my haircut today. I wanted to look good for the radio. <laughs> Sorry, we were having a very uh we were we were having a hot uh DJ uh conversation about a technical issue that I was dealing with. So uh I unfortunately I can only be in two places at once, but now one of the two places is right here. So thank you for uh summoning me. What what can I do for you? Ask us where we're from. Uh Illinois. No, no, no. You have to ask me where we're from. Oh, uh, where are you specifically from? No, no, no. Where the man's from. All right. Where is the dry look from? Illinois. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, what do I win for getting it right? A free performance by the dry look. This is so awesome. <laughs> and, and I did want one, so I got my wish. Uh, make yourselves at home. Uh, have seats somewhere. Oh. Yes, Dude. yes. So, uh, we already talked about your upcoming shows. Yeah. And here's your fan club. Hey. So what what other information do you have to enlighten us? Uh, we've, got, we've got an EP. It's online. We already talked about Yeah, we have an EP. Online. It's on Bandcamp. We have another EP coming. Yeah. You can also buy it on cassette at an upcoming dry look performance near you. Do you have hard copies of anything? Yeah, we have cassettes. Okay, I was mm -hmm. going to. Well, you could at least be played on Sunday nights here then. That's right. Yeah. Because on there is a company. yes. That's weird. You may be the only local band that I can't play, but someone else can. That's possible. I did play a cassette once, and the audio. You had to turn up your radio all the way to even be able to tell I was playing anything. So. Yeah. All right. We've got another cassette on the way. Yeah, excellent. We've got another one coming. Are we still going to record that the day after the Bentley show? Yeah, I think so. That's the plan. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the, we have this like, there's this pot that we ash all our cigarettes in, I, in wait, the back, what? in the on the back porch. I and didn't understand it, that. We call it Sig Chili. Start over, please. Oh, I sorry, sorry. So there's a pot. Uh huh. Uh, it's on our back porch. Okay. Nor it used to have a flower in it. Okay. But now it has cigarettes in it and uh -huh. water. Okay. And when you put those things together, you get cigarette chili. It that looks like it has the consistency of a fine meaty chili. <laughs> But it's mostly nicotine, I think. Nicotine and whatever they make filters out of. And do you do you have a use for this? I mean, it's. Do you want any? <laughs> do Do I want any? Yeah, yeah. I am afraid I wouldn't know what to do with it. But okay, because th that would be like uh, that's a use that we could have for it. Uh, could, I've got yes, something. Our next song it. is called Negative Reaction. That's our next song.
from a uh, veritable ghost town to a, uh, a party scene, so I should just ask whether I'm making eye contact with you or not, because people are in all directions. Uh, is everybody doing okay? Anybody need anything? Everybody's good? Okay, great. As long as everybody's accommodated, everybody has a place to sit or stand, as the case may be. So uh, anything you want to tell us that you haven't already told us? Uh, what was the name of that last one? I was called I Don't Like You Much, and it was I had to change a lot of things on the fly to not swear. And I, oh, well, <laughs> that's very kind of you to not get us in too much trouble. Yeah, I don't want the FCC to kick down my door. Well, we, we can actually say heck and darn and things like that. Heck but and darn? If, if, uh, if Grandma dies from listening to the show, that's where we have a problem. Right. So well, I wouldn't want that to happen. Right. So. What about, like, ding ding? Uh, I'm... That that doesn't even rate, but that's that's fine. Okay, I I'm not looking to test the boundaries, so uh, you you have a safety net. Just don't burn the safety net to yeah. to uh, a fine crisp like your even, chili nicotine. I don't even know what curse words are. Awesome. Yep. We should have you on more often. I <laughs> agreed. <laughs> Once a week. Well, heck. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. We started as a Christian rock band. I, that's true. Yeah. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. We were on the same level as Evanescence. Oh, was, right. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, like, I was the one who came up with that Save Me part in that one song. We may have a, uh, a preacher come on before the end of the night, so. Uh, he's probably heard of us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, he's not Catholic, so he doesn't do confessions. Those boys are so dry, he'll say. What? <laughs> Those boys are so dry. So um... We're I don't dry, think dry from sin. Honestly, if he started discussing relative Lord. moisture with people, I would probably ask him to leave. But uh, uh, yeah. Especially in boys. Unless it were an antiperspirant commercial. <laughs> but it's like two thirds water, man. <laughs> anyway, what do you have for us next? Uh, well, we've filled up about twenty-two minutes so far. Yeah. We have about three more songs that we can. Play. Well, remember, you can repeat the entire set if uh, people can't tell the difference. Oh yeah, that's true. I'm sure they probably can. Like, oh, it's that sugar, sugar trick intro one again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. This next one's about skulls and thunder. Unlike the last one.
So I just wanted to gauge uh, how much more material there is. We'll stop if you really want us to. What? We'll stop if you really want us to. Uh, you have till 11. I just want to make sure uh, we're good to... kind of sound like you want us out of here, Todd. Uh, yeah, that's the exact opposite of what I keep saying. But. Oh, that's... Look at don't look lie at, to us. Look fans. at these faces. You can't let them down and deny them the rock, can <laughs> look you? Look at that face. The rock Dwayne the Rock Johnson might be running for president. You guys You know what? That? They weren't here for your first couple of songs, so they'll be new to you. Uh you, they, they'll be new to them. It's yeah, none, none of these guys have ever heard any of these songs before. Right. And they're all very excited. See, they're they've never heard music probably. You're enlightening them in all sorts I of ways. I think at least yeah. two of them were deaf until we played Sugar Yeah. Sugar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we should have a lot of set left to go, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Do you know what, Todd, do you know what a disco nap is? I first heard the term about a week ago. Really? Was, was it here? No way. <laughs> it might have been. Okay, yeah, it's a nap you take before you go out in disco. There's nothing weird or inappropriate about it. Do you know what disco fries are? I No, uh, do you know what they are, Todd? I think that's what uh, Americans used to call uh, poutine before they called it poutine. Oh, wow. Disco fries. Disco yeah. fries. Well, that's how I... doesn't seem like something you would want to eat right before you go to a disco. I still, I don't know. <laughs> you go down to do one of those real Kinda cool... Like weigh you down. I think he's talking about Vladimir poutine. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Old disco fries poutine. Well, when we're not playing music, we do relevant social commentary. Ah, do you also evaluate donuts? No. That's, no. That's where we come short against well, other local bands. Cowabunga Kid <laughs> wins that We're a contest. distant, distant second. Goes right to my thighs. Y you could evaluate uh, disco naps and fries. We could. We, we could. We could evaluate Sig Chili recipes. I, I eat fries in bed enough. Actually, you what, you, what you could do is you could stick around for 1979 tonight, and you could evaluate the lack of disco songs I play. You're not playing Perfect. any. It's, it's 1979. <laughs> Yeah, wasn't that when Chicago had the big anti-disco demonstration where they destroyed all those records? Oh, yeah. This was that the night Chicago died? Uh, that's 75, I believe. Oh, 74, okay. 75. I think <laughs> it came out in 74 and was a hit in 75. What's the band that does that song? Paper Lace. Paper Lace, yeah. Very good. That's I didn't great. mean to steal your thunder there. Great song. You think we can, we can work out a cover of that on the fly? Do it. I don't uh, think so. Do you, oh. <laughs> uh, I was just going to say, like, someone dies in Chicago every night. Um uh, one would actually be an improvement, Jeez. I think, over the current numbers. <laughs> but I was I like, it's not that the city died, it's that people keep dying. I have people afraid to visit me in Champaign because they hear Chicago is so uh, dangerous. So. 
You have, yeah, you have to make it through the... Well, even yeah. though someone dies every night in Chicago, on a cold and gray Chicago morning, oh, another well. little baby child is born. That's not even... That's just... So that makes up for it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure the Cranberries did one of the all-time worst covers of that song. Really? Yeah. It can't be worse than the uh, Spanish flamenco singer who did a cover of that song. Didn't know where to You know English. what? With worst ever songs, I'm happy to declare the other person a winner because I don't want to suffer through that. So, <laughs> so right. what do you really have for us? Surprise so, me. All right, here's a surprise. <laughs> Yeah, that was nice because last week was uh, I closed out with 1978, so yeah. it's like we're just picking up right where we left there off. There you go. And we will be hearing more from the cars later. So actual cars. So everybody, stay tuned for yes. the actual cars. Stay up all night. Actual cars are on the streets, man. Hey, are you questioning Rick Ocasek's legitimacy? I think he's a spider. If I think he's a thinly disguised spider. I want to get that on the radio. He's a spider. What if he's a scorpion? He's not a scorpion. He's a spider. Look he's at him. He's definitely an arachnid of some kind. 
Uh, we're not yeah. even arguing here. <laughs> no, no, we're just establishing, like, Rick, I know what you are, and I'm coming. Saved it at that end part. What time is it? It's 22. Oh, it's 10:41. Let's do th let's do the first couple songs just uh, for the new listeners out there. Okay, sure. For the top. Yeah. <laughs> let's do the song with the hoedown. Can we can we play like can we try and play them as fast as we possibly can, Ryan? What yeah. are we doing? Like the Absolutely. first two, three. Sure. We could probably go through all. Of them. Let's, let's not. Todd doesn't care.
That's ridiculous. One minute and 20 seconds. <laughs> that's too long. That's too long? <laughs> how many mistakes were in there? Oh, dude, not, uh, negative reaction? That, no, I don't want to do that. Let's do it like, oh, what do you want to do, Nico? Let's do a funk jam. <laughs> I, I want to do the, I, I kind of want to do the, the, the dry lick theme song just because it has a hoedown in it. You want to do it fast? I want to do a hoedown real quick. Like, I'm in a hoedown kind of mood. Oh. Okay. You guys in, in for that? I don't know if I can play that. Go. Go. That's okay. Half You'll have to you know. play it well. have any kind of like outro theme thing on top of what you already played right that was that was the dry look theme song that's it right. no yeah we don't have an outro we played our theme okay song. well um we i work on one for next time that's, yeah okay well how about this uh let us uh sum up some things that like your show dates and then I just need you to, I don't know, play Happy Birthday or something, sure. just so there's some final music. But what what points do you want people to take away from tonight? Oh. Your shows again? Okay. So we're playing August 17th at Black Sheep Cafe in Springfield. Uh, the following day, August 18th at Bentley's Pub, the finest establishment in town. And then the next day and that weekend, we're going to be recording a new EP it should be available in a few months' time. Uh, currently, we have one available online at thedrylook.bandcamp.com and also available on cassette at a dry look show near you. Since we're not super short on time, I'm curious. Do you play exclusively at Bentley's or... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's like basically well, the thing where is, we are. <laughs> a number of people have asked me how I like you guys from seeing you live, and I've never known about a gig with the exception of one that I was out of town for. So, uh, yeah, I guess start emailing me about your gigs. Or, All right. Sometimes um, we play at Cowboy Monkey okay. or a lot of house shows. How recently have you played Cowboy Monkey? I think that was the last one before the last Bentley's show. Yeah, was oh, that's, that's the one I was out of town for. Like two months ago or something? Okay. I think that's... So, yeah, just keep us abreast of things. Um, any any other, anything else you want to put out there before you do your uh, appeasement last song thing? Brian? What should we cover next? Flamin' Groovies. Uh, groovies. I would be okay with you doing that right now. I, I wish you were doing 
we didn't we didn't have time to learn the song. What, what we cover got should we learn for the next time we're here, Todd? Yeah, you, you can Goodness. Um, why don't you listen to my 1979 show and just pick your favorite? It's probably not going to be on in Bentley's. That's the You could listen on your phone at Bentley's. Then, then it would be on at Bentley's in some capacity. All weft all the time. See how uh, committed to our mission I am? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like you could listen to weft in your sleep. You'd have better dreams. Depending on That's the show. That's true. If it's like horror rock or something. I don't think we have a horror rock show. Wait, wait, this. Wait, I meant <laughs> officially yet every week. No, this is just horrible rock. Uh, <laughs> I do believe we have guests for... Uh, the rest of the evening. So uh, thanks to... I guess this is what I, I should do. I should say uh, uh, you're still listening to The Dry Look for one more song, and then after this song, stay tuned for another hour and probably another hour and ten minutes of local music and two hours of 1979 with Ryan and me. And um, thanks for listening. Please stay tuned. Thanks to The Dry Look. Thanks to Mike Ingram for booking it, Mike Feldman, sound engineer, all the credits that... We get to do the long long credit roll tonight because uh but uh yeah we because we archive the shows temporarily um (laughs) the point is uh if we start the next show too early it's going to be cut into two files and so uh, but it sounds like it's not a problem for tv so hypothetical tv camera there's not a real tv camera there but if there were you know see how it doesn't influence me Okay, so one more mystery surprise song from the Dry Look. I don't even know that they know what they're going to play, but thank you for agreeing to play something. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk again in the 11 o'clock hour. Thanks. I'm allowed to mention other radio stations on this station, but I think they're just robots and stuff, people, so. Yeah, all right.